Mark Antony. The name still echoes through history, conjured up in our minds as a figure of Roman power, ambition, and ultimately tragedy. Antony was more than just Caesar's right-hand man. He was a powerful general, a cunning politician, and a key figure in the transformation of Rome from republic to empire. His story is one of intrigue, alliances forged and broken, and battles won and lost. Understanding Mark Antony means grappling with the complexities of his character, a man capable of great military brilliance and equally spectacular failures. Was he truly a strategic mastermind, or was his success more a product of circumstance and the might of the Roman legions he commanded? Let's dissect the legend of Mark Antony and uncover the truth behind the soldier, the politician, and the lover who changed the course of history. While often remembered for his military exploits and his tumultuous affair with Cleopatra, Mark Antony possessed a lesser-known talent, his skill as an orator. In the Forum, Antony could sway crowds with his words, his voice rising and falling with practiced ease. He possessed a natural charisma that drew people to him, a magnetism that made him a force to be reckoned with both on the battlefield and in the political arena. It was Antony who delivered the eulogy for Julius Caesar, his powerful words igniting the flames of anger among the Roman populace and turning the tide against Caesar's assassins. His speeches could stir the passions of the people, inspiring loyalty and inciting action. He was a man of many facets, capable of commanding armies and captivating audiences with equal skill. This hidden talent reveals the depth of his influence and the reasons behind his enduring legacy. Mark Antony's military career is a study in contradictions, a tapestry woven with threads of both brilliance and blunder. He was a courageous and inspiring leader, capable of rallying his troops to achieve stunning victories. Yet he could also be impulsive and reckless, prone to strategic errors that cost him dearly. His supporters point to his early campaigns, his successes in Gaul under Caesar, and his crucial role in the defeat of Pompey's forces. They argue that his strategic thinking and his ability to adapt to changing circumstances on the battlefield were unmatched. His detractors, however, highlight his disastrous Parthian campaign, a testament to his overconfidence and his failure to adequately prepare for the challenges of fighting in unfamiliar territory. Antony was a gifted military leader, capable of great things on the battlefield, but he was also prone to moments of rash judgment. His career, marked by both dazzling triumphs and humiliating defeats, serves as a reminder that even the most skilled commanders are not immune to the vagaries of fate and the consequences of their own miscalculations. To understand the complexities of Mark Antony's military legacy, we must examine his most notable campaigns. His early victories in Gaul, fighting alongside Caesar, showcased his tactical acumen and his ability to command legions with precision. He proved himself a quick learner, adapting to the challenges of guerrilla warfare and securing crucial victories for Caesar's forces. His later campaigns in the East, particularly his conquest of Armenia, further solidified his reputation as a skilled commander. Antony's ability to forge alliances with local rulers and his understanding of the importance of logistics in maintaining a strong military presence in conquered territories highlighted his strategic thinking. However, his disastrous Parthian campaign stands in stark contrast to these successes. Antony's invasion of Parthia, driven by ambition and a desire to avenge Roman defeats, ended in a humiliating retreat. He underestimated the Parthian army, their mastery of mounted archery and the harshness of the terrain, leading to heavy losses and a significant blow to his reputation. So, was Mark Antony an overrated general? The answer, like the man himself, is complex and multifaceted. He was undoubtedly a gifted military leader, capable of inspiring his men and achieving remarkable victories. His strategic mind, evident in his early campaigns and his successes in the East, cannot be disregarded. However, his tendency for impulsiveness and his disastrous Parthian campaign revealed a critical weakness in his judgment. Antony's legacy is one of both triumph and tragedy, a testament to the fickle nature of fate and the enduring power of human ambition. He was a man of contradictions, a skilled general who could be both brilliant and reckless, a charismatic leader who could inspire both loyalty and envy. To label him simply as overrated is to ignore the nuances of his character and the complexities of his career. 
Mark Antony was a product of his time, a man caught in the maelstrom of a collapsing republic. His military skills, though undeniable, were ultimately overshadowed by his political ambitions and his ill-fated love for Cleopatra. Please like and subscribe to the channel.